Ben in Gold River, California. Boy, <laughs> the gold rush. Have you ever panned for gold? I took the kids, our four, our four sons, well, Terry and I took them, and went to, I think it was Knott's Berry Farm, way, way back when. And they had a little thing where you could pan for gold and, and you keep a little bottle full of gold. It's pretty cool. All right, enough of a diversion. Hello, Paul. Thanks for helping us understand the ins and outs of all things audiophile. I've been watching your videos for the last five years and really appreciate you freely sharing your knowledge. My pleasure. I, you know, that's crazy. I just looked on our YouTube channel and there's 2,100 videos. Who knew? Can you help us understand how eight DAC chips in your new Stellar series is better than one DAC chip? Thanks. Sure. So for those of you that don't know, we're going to be launching a new, well, actually two new things. Uh, we're launching a, a bit of a step up from our standard Stellar line called Stellar Gold. So Stellar Gold is right between the Stellar line, which is our main entry line into high-end audio, and Perfect Wave, which is our higher-end products. And, and right in between that is a, a, a series that's gonna be called Stellar Gold. And Stellar Gold is, is it's cool. But so far, and we have two new products coming in the Stellar Gold line. One is the Stellar DAC, and two is the Stellar Preamplifier. All right, so he's asking about the new Stellar Gold DAC, and it uses four DAC chips per channel, a total of eight DACs. These are the high-performance ESS DACs, and we use four of them for the left channel and four of them for the right channel. And his question is, why, why are you doing that? What's wrong with one? Well, here's the deal. First off, when, and, and, and it's a little tricky to do because you have to get everything synchronized properly, power supplies, all this kind of good stuff, but that's our problem in engineering. I mean, we, and we had to design a special output stage and all this stuff, but you probably don't care about all that. Or maybe you do, and we'll do a, a whole video series on it because it, it's fascinating technology. But when you take two DAC, we'll just call them DAC chips, because actually our, th this is only one chip, so we, the ESS makes a, a very large uh, DAC chip, it's an, an octo chip, if you will, and it has eight DACs on it that are all working together, and we just separate four here and four here, so it's one chip, but let's just call it separate DACs. If you take two DAC chips, with that caveat, and they measure X amount of noise, X amount of distortion, X amount of this, that, and the other thing. If you combine the two together, it drops pretty much in half. So you get half as much distortion, half as much noise, all that kind of good stuff if you do it right, okay? So that's the advantage. And then if you add one more, you don't get, so if you add two more, now you're moving it down even further. How far could you go with that? You could probably go effectively 8, 16. I don't know, there's a limit to where it just gets silly and wasteful. But this one is extraordinarily low noise, extraordinarily low um, um, THD, IM, all that kind of good stuff. I mean, it's almost unmeasurable. So that's why we do it. And it sounds a lot better. Now, the other thing that we did is we invented a whole new output stage that is actually quite remarkable. Now, this is something that our Darren Meyer, who has unfortunately moved on to greener pastures, as he would like to say. Um, Darren actually did most of the design on this and came up with this really cool uh, low feedback uh, high speed, high slew rate output stage that I gotta tell you, this thing is stunning. It's stunning. So that will be out. I think we're gonna try and do beta at the end of August or the beginning of September, 2023. And then we will probably release September, October-ish maybe. 
So look for it around that. But hopefully that answers your question. Okay? All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.